Hey you guys, uh, just noticed some of you are having some uh, issues with getting a, a raster file to behave normally after you've georeferenced it from something like a TIFF or a PDF and added it to Quantum GIS. Um, just in some cases you get a uh, sort of a collar of a particular color around it um, where there's, there's no data attached, where that was added to uh, the raster file because of the geoprocess. Um, or sorry, the georeferencing process. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to add a raster file. And then zoom down to it to take a look. And you can see here it is. Uh, the It's kind of messy, but this is actually some high resolution imagery. You can see the way it added it in uh, is with the imagery itself in this little buffered area here, uh, but then the big area around it is filled in uh, to make a perfect square. It's filled in with a, you know, sort of a null value data. If I zoom out just a bit, uh, you can see that it is in the right place. Like this is, I've wanted to add this to an area uh, in El Salvador just outside of El Huachapan, which is right over here. Um, so let's zoom back in. And first, we got to figure out what this value is that we want to get rid of. So we'll go to this query tool, hit that. You can see that in each of the, the spectral bands of this image, the dummy value is 65535. So we'll close that, go into the raster properties menu. You can see the style is fairly standard here. Everything's been computed so that you've got a, a red, green, and blue uh, band map. Uh, but what we want to do is go to the transparency tab here and you can see there's a no data value area here and by default it'll be set to negative one um, that's not our no data value in this case we want to call that six five five three five value um, just sort of a random number that was assigned by the the georeferencing process to to be no data and once we've done that we can hit apply and you can see that that value is now transparent. There's a secondary collar around here, but that's uh, not a problem you're likely to run into. Um, but yeah, you can see now it's in the correct place. The town of Tacuba is right outside of this imagery, and that's where I wanted it to be.